Hello you wonderful people I hope you all are doing absolutely fine welcome back to another video I hope you all are doing absolutely great in today's video I am going to discuss with you all the roadmap for final year biomedical engineering students or if you are in the fourth year of college this video is meant for you if you are someone looking for placements job opportunities how to apply to these companies then this video is what you need so without further ado let's dive into the video and break down the final year roadmap in detail. Okay, I believe you guys can see the screen and this is going to be as I said the roadmap for final year biomedical engineering students. The four or the five important things that I want to cover in this video is first the technical proficiency, second practical skills, third soft skills, fourth industry awareness, fifth career preparation and finally some additional tips which will help you to get uh, right opportunities coming in your way. So let's break down first the technical proficiency. What I mean by that is basically uh, demonstrating or having a strong foundation in biomedical engineering principles so that basically means all the things you have studied in the last four years of college or three years of college you have to brush it up in such a way that your foundation or the basics of biomedical engineering principles is in the right place so what you can do is the final year will have two semesters and I'm breaking it down uh, in uh, further in detail so that you can get an idea of the same the first semester you have to focus on course completion research internship and skill enhancement so basically what I mean by this is you need to complete the core courses that you have in the last studied in the last three years of college after that you have to undertake research and internship if you have not done any internship in the final year of college or in the third year or in the second year or in the first year of college then this is the time we, in the fourth year in the first semester is when you need to do a research or an internship which will give you the hands on experience or the practical experience which you need to get into a job. Now after that you need to focus on developing some technical skills if you have not studied any technical skills then you need to make sure that you are understanding and learning softwares like MATLAB, Python, CAD or data analysis tools. Once you have developed a technical skill, once you are uh, a, a intermediate at it then what you need to focus on is basically you need to focus on soft skill development which includes uh, public speaking, communication leadership teamwork so these are these are some of soft skills which you need to acquire and develop how you could do that you can always attend workshops you can refer to online courses you can refer to youtube videos and things like that and finally in the first semester the last thing that you need to do is industry exploration research biomedical engineering companies their job profiles industry industry trends so that you know what exactly is needed by you to get into this one of the companies the second semester which is the final and the eighth semester of your college you need to do project based learning career preparation and placement preparation so what i mean by this is first you need to do a capstone project which is basically going to be your final year project and you have to make sure that it is a project that showcases your problem solving skill innovation skill and teamwork ability if you are doing it in a group or as a team once that is done, you need to focus on industry oriented projects, participate in the projects that aligns with industrial needs or that is uh, going hand in hand with the industrial trends that I could suggest you something like medical device design, healthcare, IT, biomedical data analysis and pretty much things like that. So capstone year project or the final year project, you need to make sure that it is something which is aligning properly with the industry. Now once you're done with the project, that is when you need to start again brushing up your resume if you have not built your resume till now then you're already very late so please make sure that you are working on your resume and cover letter cover letter is something which is not specifically preferred by indian uh, companies which are hiring biomedical engineers so you need to create a professional resume which is highlighting your academic achievements your projects your internships your soft skills your technical skills and things like that if you don't know how to make a resume like that then there is a video on the youtube channel we have where we have developed a resume from scratch for biomedical engineering students you can go and check that video out i will be providing links somewhere on the right and left top corner of the screen once your resume is ready you need to focus on giving mock interviews you can practice answering some common interview questions you can improve your question or presentation skills uh, you need to understand that when you are giving interview it is very important for you to also question back the interviewer which will always give you an upper hand and also you will have more authority over the call. Usually 
uh, what I say is people who are appearing for these interviews are very less confident. They do not have authority over uh, authority or command over uh, their language or their communication, which is a very demotivating, demotivating or negative thing. So you have to work on that as well. If you don't know who will take if, if, there, if there is no one to take mock interviews for you, you can always go to my LinkedIn profile, book a one on one session with me and I could take a mock interview for you as per your job description. Once that is done, you need to focus on networking. You need to attend a lot of workshops, events, hackathons, conferences, seminars and things like that, which will make sure that you are connecting with the industrial working professionals so that whenever you are looking for job or whenever you're looking for opportunities, you can reach out to these professionals and you can ask them for job opportunities or referrals or internship opportunity or anything of that sort. And finally, the most important thing which I always stress a lot on is always making sure that you are building a good LinkedIn profile so that your profile is getting visibility. If you have done your final year project, which is going to be like a technical one, which involves a lot of coding, make sure you are listing it on GitHub or if you have published any paper or in your final year, if you have worked on uh, publishing a thesis or a paper, then make sure that you are listing it on the ResearchGate platform. So that are the important things that you need to do on your second semester, right? So first second, so basically the first semester is going to be the seventh semester in the fourth year and second semester is going to be the eighth and the final semester when you are in the fourth year. So don't get confused about that. Now let's talk about skill development because it is very important for you to develop the right skills which will help you to secure a job. Now when you talk about skill, you need to focus on three important aspects. First is technical skill, second is soft skill and third is industry specific skill. Talking about technical skills, what all things you need to cover, proficiency in coding, MATLAB, Python or any of the programming languages becomes important. Focusing on the strong foundation in engineering principles like mechanics, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, things like that. Knowledge of biomedical instrument instrumentation and signal processing or understanding the working of medical equipments becomes very important if you are in the final year of college. Understanding biomaterials, tissue engineering and biomechanics. Again, you do not have to be an expert in these topics, but you need to know the basics so that more opportunities open up for you as soon as you are eligible for jobs. Okay. And finally, proficiency in CAD software or designing software like Blender, SolidWorks, AutoCAD to design medical devices or you know any, anything of that sort or 3D printing. Any of these things which includes designing becomes very important for you. So you do not have to study all these things but make sure you are at least covering 3 to 4 uh, points which I have mentioned right now to improvise and develop on your technical skills. Now let's focus on the soft skills that is very important for you when it comes to the interview process or the interview you need to be very good with communication you should be someone who can articulate things to the interviewer or articulate things to others so basically what articulating means is whatever knowledge you have you are able to help someone else understand that in a very easy way that is what i mean by articulating things you need to be a teamwork you need to be a team worker who can work around the team, who can adapt into the different situations very easily, who can always collaborate with other professionals or other students who are around you. So teamwork and collaboration is something you need to work on. Problem solving and critical thinking, the most important soft skill to have because when you are going for interviews, they can give you a problem and they will ask you to, uh, you know, use your problem solving skills to think and come up with a solution during the interview. So that is why it is very important. Time management and organization. It is very important for you to manage your time effectively to make sure that you are being productive throughout the day. And finally, leadership and initi initiative. So if you're joining a company as a fresher, if you want to climb up the ladder, if you want to be a team lead or if you want to be a manager, it is very important for you to showcase these leadership skills and initiative, uh, developing new initiatives for the organizations. Something that comes under initiative is what I was meaning to say. So that's how you develop your soft skills and finally how do you develop the industry specific skills is basically you need to have some understanding about regulatory affairs and quality assurance which is called so called QA or RA. You need to have a good understanding about medical device design and development how the entire process of medical device or uh, medical medical device development is like so you need to learn about project management product management agile scrum so all that all these are some skills which you can always go through when you are in your free time when you're having free time in your college 
Apart from that, you need to understand about biomedical data analysis and machine learning. Again, these biomedical data analysis and machine learning is like a huge topic. So you just need to understand the basics and to study the basics, at least three to four hours of online YouTube video or an online course is more than enough is what I would recommend. Healthcare IT and systems. If you are good with coding, you need to understand how coding is used in the healthcare industry or in the healthcare IT field and also understanding the systems. And finally, clinical engineering. You need to have a good understanding about the clinical aspects of engineering, which is basically how uh, how do you like um, how do you basically use the equipments? How do you basically troubleshoot the equipments? How do you basically uh, calibrate the equipments, repair the equipments and things like that? Okay, so these are few of the industry specific skills that you can learn. And finally, career preparation is the most important thing which you need to focus on here as well. Uh, identify target companies, you need to research companies in your desired field and location. What I mean by saying this is you need to have an understanding as to what kind of companies you want to join, which city you want to work on, do some research and find out relevant companies which are there in the location wherein you would want to join in. And tailoring your resume and cover letter, again, very important. It is uh, it is something which usually people don't uh, focus much on. They will make one resume and they will apply to all the job opportunities. That is a wrong way to apply for jobs. It is very important for you to customize your resume as per the job description of every job that you are applying to. Preparing for interviews, practice common interview questions and develop strong answers. If you don't know how to do this, give as many interviews as you can, even if it's relevant, not relevant, that will help you to build up confidence. Build a professional network as I've always covered, make use of LinkedIn, make use of college alumni, make use of professors, make use of inter industry professionals to make sure that you are connecting with them, talking to them and also seeking out some good opportunities coming to your way through them. And finally, attend career events, car attend career fairs and industry events, which will help you to increase your visibility and increases your uh, potential to get into an organization through uh, networking and things like that. Okay, so these are few of the important things that you need to focus on when you are talking about career preparation or how to prepare for your career. So that's the first point that I wanted to talk about is technical proficiency. Second one is practical skills, applying theoretical knowledge to real world problems. How do you do that? Internships is the only way wherein you can do this hands on uh, practicals wherein you are actually applying whatever you have studied in the college and uh, you are making use of those skills to practically implement it in the industry. Okay, so the internships is the way for that. Talking about soft skills, very important, developing effective communication, teamwork and problem solving abilities, which I have always covered. That becomes very important when you are talking about the fourth year of college and industry awareness, again, very important. Understanding biomedical engineering industry landscape is very important. Most of you guys would say that uh, AI ML is very important, but even without AI and ML, someone can easily get a job which will pay you 40 to 50,000 as freshers. So for to do that, you need to very much you need to be very serious about what is happening in the industry. Keep yourself up to date with the industry news and industry updates and things like that. How do you do that? LinkedIn, how do you do that? Uh, online biomedical newsletters and things like that would help you stay up to date with the industrial uh, relevant topics. Career preparation, I've already covered it. Building a strong professional network and preparing for the job application process and being active on LinkedIn is a very important aspect that I want you to cover in the final year of college. And few additional tips is always seek mentorship in your final year, final year of college. If you do not have a mentor, I'm always very much accessible to you. Join in the WhatsApp community, drop a message and immediately you will get a response from me. Okay, so finding a mentor in the biomedical engineering field who can guide you is very important when you are in the final year of college. Although it is very important in the four years of college, but in final year, it plays a very important role. Staying updated with the industry news, trends and uh, updates. You can do that through reading journals, conferences, online resources, LinkedIn uh, newsletter, biomedical newsletter and things like that. Okay. And uh, continuous learning, you should always focus on keep on doing additional certification courses, keep on doing, um, you know, keep on learning new things that will make sure that you are enhancing your skills. Showcase your work. Always make sure that you are participating in relevant competitions, hackathons, conferences to gain recognition and increase your visibility in the industry. And finally, the most important thing that most of the guys don't do in the final year of college is building a strong personal brand. Highlight your unique skills and experiences, whatever you have studied in four year, four, four year of college, make sure that you are utilizing it in the 
linkedin profile you're always trying to teach it to others but you know you need to make sure that you are someone who is very much known by the industry experts whoever you are connecting with on your linkedin profile so that's about it wanted to make this video a little short because most of the people say that the video duration is very long and things like that so if at all if you want a more detailed video on this please feel free to drop in the comment please like this video subscribe to the channel share it to all your final year biomedical engineering students and to your professors as well if you find that they will get benefited out of it so i'll see you in the next video till then stay safe stay home and let's learn and grow together signing off it's your bio med bro